A Fox 5 update tonight. A reminder of downtown's artistic culture has been restored. A mural that was painted over to make way for advertising has been restored to its former glory. As Fox 5's Alexis Fernandez tells us, many hope it's a sign the arts and business community can coexist. Fox 5 was there when a power washer fired up his pump to undo what many saw as a great insult to the downtown community. I think that's awesome. I mean, everyone in the community was pretty upset about it. It was the whitewash job done to a mural painted by artist Zavi Peniton. The intent was to rent the space out to advertising for other businesses in the area, but it didn't sit well with the community. It brought people to the art district. The fact that we covered up such an iconic masterpiece of art with an ad just hurts my soul. It hurts our community. A community that already feels under pressure to move elsewhere by higher rents and new development. Which is why seeing this man out there power washing the white paint away was an encouraging sign. Over the course of five or six hours, he revealed the artwork, a job he was happy to do. Obviously, the community wasn't too happy with that, which I could see why. It's a pretty beautiful mural, so. I have no problem taking all this white off and exposing it. The manager of uh, where I work, I mean, she got married in front of that mural. It kind of means a lot to the community. And I think, you know, the community spoke up and I'm glad they realized that. And for anyone else thinking of throwing a coat of paint over downtown's iconic murals that have added so much to the community, there are those who won't let empty spaces stand. Trying to keep that wall, trying to keep it in ad or trying to make it white is just, I mean, it's going to be attacked daily by graffiti artists and graffiti artists respect good work. And taking a live look downtown now, we don't know why the building's owner changed their mind, but a little known law called the Visual Artist Rights Act protects public art from mutilation. The artist hopes this helps inspire collaboration between business owners and artists to have original artwork downtown.